What do you know about me? Oh. December twenty third. Are you awake? Where am I? I look around myself. When I try to get up, I realize my head still hurts. It looks like a hospital room. It seems this is a Taito University hospital. Do you remember this room? Yes. I was hurt in a car accident. That's right. After you lost consciousness, this was the room you were taken to. I think by now you already know the truth that you have no sister. And I think you also have a good idea how you were born. No, I don't. What are you talking about? What do you know about me? I don't really like to talk about the past, but it seems you need it spelled out for you. Just do your best to face reality, as unpleasant as it may seem to be. Listen to Kaori. Her voice is clear and calm. And I find myself quietly listening to half day. Like most of the students in the lab, I grew up with no parents and no family. The lab chooses those orphans who show particular aptitude and molds them as it sees fit. That's how all of the students are recruited. I was discovered by Dr. Haibara. Dr. Haibara was planning to do some. Groundbreaking research, even by IHDS standards. He said he needed me for that research. Seven years ago, just after I was officially assigned to the lab, I met you for the first time. Seven years ago, I was led by Dr. Haibara to a hospital room, which was secretly controlled by him. When I saw the girl in that room, I let out a gasp. The girl was the spitting image of Asumi Kamijo. She was my fellow student and the daughter of Professor Mikotsuka. Surprised? I made her from genetic material I harvested from Mikotsuka's daughter. Mikozuka was about to trap me and have me sent to prison when I did it. In other words, she is a clone of Asumi Kamijo. At that time, I didn't know Mikozuka Lab had the necessary technology to produce clones. Certainly, I was shocked, but there was something else that shocked me even more. I stared at the girl. All curled up into a little ball. Or perhaps it would be more accurate to say that I couldn't take my eyes off her. I sensed no life, no will. Her eyes were like empty holes. She was just like a doll. I don't know how to put it, but I was overcome with sadness looking at her. That was the first time we met. I created her as a clone, and I've taken care of her ever since. She will be the perfect guinea pig to test a new chip I've been developing. If the chip works as it should, then I'll send her into Mikozuka Lab as Asumi Kamijo. All going well. She'll be able to secure information to take down Mikozuka and his dogs. And even if it doesn't work that well, she's bound to make them panic. That's for sure. A girl who was born as a clone and raised as a guinea pig, a doll with 
vacant eyes, a girl who didn't know love and who had no emotion. When I saw her, I was shocked, but I quickly came to terms with all that it, mean, it meant. I told myself I was just dealing with a doll, and I started on my research. Under Dr. Haibara's guidance, I created the data for a chip to be embedded into her head. That data is on the hard drive you found in Dr. Haibara's office. And a year ago, you had surgery to embed a, a cranial nerve connecting chip into your head. I made all of the data in your chip. It contains several memory programs, as well as some simple logic programs. A sister who is supposed to be a doctoral student at Mikozuka Lab. For the people at the lab, your sister would mean Asumi Kamijo, who was silenced four years ago. She was your original form. Other than that, though, you shouldn't have been able to recall any memories. Trying to remember your sister made you feel ill, did it not? That is because the chip was programmed to emit an unpleasant signal. And this made you subconsciously avoid thinking of your sister. I mean, you've been looking for your missing sister, yet you don't even know her name. But you couldn't think about it, because it would frighten you. Your sister's apartment, where you are staying now, and the key, I prepared all of that. I also left a message on the answering machine, find the fifth report. Kaori's matter-of-fact tone makes it sound to me like my very existence is being denied. You are lying, that's enough! You are a horrible person! What you are saying is understandable, and maybe it is even true. But calm yourself for a moment and open your eyes to reality. You were a guinea pig, and of course, you never had a sister. Wait, call my father. My father will help me. Shaking her head sadly, Kaori sighed. That adds a final comment. He will be here soon. After a while, the door is open again, and a man walks in. Father! You came back for me! Dr. Haibara, I have secured Asumi Kamijo and recovered the fifth report. Keep everything quiet. After everything is over, I will kill her too. Oh my gosh! No, it can't be. The image you have in the back of your mind of your loving father. It is actually Dr. Haibara who created you as a clone and raised you himself. This image is too strong to be removed by the granular lab connecting chip. So instead, I used your emotion and modulated your memory just a little bit. I changed the image of him from a sci scientist experimenting on guinea pigs to a loving father. Whenever you recall Dr. Haibara, my program ensures that you think, uh, you think only positive thoughts. Kaori, it's time to go. I will turn in the fifth report in front of the library. Since the place is crowded, there is nothing that they can do to us there. Yes, sir. I took the fifth report a little while ago. Good work. <laughs> I've got everything I wanted now, just as I planned. This is Asumi Kamijo's scissors. That even the mighty Aso has never been able to acquire. Fantastic. We must get to the meeting place at once. Make sure she can't get away. After we're done, I'll finish her off for good. Understood, sir. Let's go. Yeah. 
What is this music? <laughs> It's killing the atmosphere. Come on, please. Dr. Haibara, it's almost time. Is your journalist friend not here yet? Is it possible that Aso knows about this? I don't think so. I think we are fine, but. Wait, my cell phone is ringing. Hello? What? What's going on? Oh, so. She will. She will be killed too? What's wrong? Or maybe not. Give it to me! I don't like this professor. This is no place for a meeting. It's just too empty. What? What are you now? Huh? They just told me on the phone to come. By the phone, like you said. No, I never said that. I said in the. Quadrango. Quadrango. Well, at first that's what you said, yeah. But then you called again and changed the meeting place to the pond. That's why I'm waiting here, but it's far too dangerous. I don't like it. You said there are people who want to crash this fifth report, right? Listen, I know about this sort of thing. I can smell danger all around here. Huh? I can hear a phone ringing. Is somebody there? You, what's going on? All of you, you are the sa. Sa? Sa? Sa what? They beat us to the punch. It's too late to go to the pond. We have no choice. We have to retreat for now. As long as I'm safe and the fifth report is secure, we can leak it to the media anytime. For now, we need to get to a busier place. Make sure we are not being followed. Yes, sir. Oh, okay, so now we ask me. Look around, try to go outside, rest a while, think over the situation. Okay, look around. This gloomy hospital room. I have been operated on in this room before. When I had a car accident. When was that? Try to go outside,、uh, rest a while, think over the situation. Okay. For a long time, I stay there. I'm moving. I'm willing to face the facts before me. I feel on the verge of devolving into a mere shadow of myself. Ever since I read the fifth report, I have known the truth, but I haven't had the courage to face it. Asumi Kamijo tried to take down the lab four years ago, but was instead killed, and I am her clone. I was born in Dr. h a i b a r a t s lab and raised as nothing more than a guinea pig. Ah! Ah! It isn't true! I. I have a family, a father and a sister, and we were happy together. I'm Asumi Kamijo. I have a sister who goes to graduate school in Tokyo. Yes, that's it. And my sister. She always calls me on the phone, but. She stopped calling. Why doesn't she call me? Everybody in the lab is telling lies. Please, please, give me a call, sis. Hmm. I don't know. I, I feel like maybe it's still possible that、uh, actually her sister. Exists and、uh, those stories from uh, uh, Haibara and、uh, Kaori is also right. 
I don't know because、uh, she, I mean, her sister left a message on her phone, and k a o r i said, it, you know, I, like I, I did it. That was me, but、uh, then how did she change her voice? Because if her Kaori's voice is the same as Asumi's sister, then Asumi would have, would have noticed it.、Hmm. I need you to speak to me, to call me by my name, Asumi. I have a strange scar on my head. I had a car accident and I hit my head on the ground. I thought the scar came from that, but finally I closed my eyes and tried to accept the truth. It is the hardest thing I have ever done. Hmm. Okay, resting here is not a good idea, I think. So I'll、uh, try to go outside. My body is fixed in place by some sort of belt across the bed. I can't go outside now. The belt tying my body down is secured with a lock. If I can unlock it, I may be able to escape. Use a hairpin, stay in the room. Use a hairpin. After rattling the hairpin around in the lock for a while, it catches and unlocks with a click. Now I can get out of here. Oh, that was easy. My head is still woozy, but the, the area of the campus in front of the university hospital is deserted. It's a winter break. Is that. Mr. Funabashi is walking away from me. What is he doing here? It may be dangerous to follow him. Perhaps I should go back to my room. Ah,、uh, definitely follow. Where is he heading? Funabashi is walking away from the hospital and is headed towards the Quadrangle. Quadrangle. Mr. Funabashi? Uh huh? My head must not be right yet. What? Oh my gosh. Are these all clones? There are two of him. Is my mind playing tricks on me? It looks like there are two Funabashis. They seem to be discussing something. <laughs> I can catch glimpses of their conversation. Haibara, Kaori. I do not notice that, as well as these two, there is a third Funabashi standing behind me. Oh my. Ah,、oh, damn it. As my consciousness slips from me, I finally understand why there. Why? Understand why there are so many of him. Of course, they must be. They were born in the basement too. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Rest a while? I don't know. Maybe following Hype of Nabashi was a wrong choice. Probably. But let's choose this one, rest a while. Dozing off, I begin to dream. The dream is the release of an awful memory, buried deep within my mind. Okay, this is the first trial. I hope this works as well as the simulation. Yes, there may still be one or two issues with the emotional core. That's fine. Whatever happens, it's just a guinea pig anyway. 
Kazama. If you are ready, I will begin the operation. Are you feeling any after effects of your car accident? I'm fine. To be honest, I don't really remember the accident. That's just a little temporary memory loss. Nothing to worry about at all. After you leave the hospital, you can go back to your life as it was before. Thank you very much. I must call my father and my sister. What? Yes, I think that's probably a very good idea. I'm sure they must be waiting to hear the good news. Huh? I don't think Haibaro's chances are looking very good, to be honest. I think it may be time to cut my losses. I'm sorry to do this to you, but I'm afraid your existence poses a threat to my safety. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Finally, Hybrid's research will be bullied for good. <laughs> Feels like a bit of a waste, really. What? But that Kazama said, like, uh, and Asumi also said, I want to call my sister and father in front of Funabashi, because if Kron Asumi believes uh, Funabashi is her father, then she wouldn't say something like that, I think. Okay, anyway, rest a while was a long choice, so... Uh, yeah. And, okay, let's choose return to the hospital. Sensing danger, I abandon my pursuit of him. I should go back inside. What should I do now? Feeling nothing but despair, I collapse on the hospital bed. Before I realize it, I am falling asleep. Dozing up, I begin to dream. The dream is the release of an awful memory buried deep, deep within my mind. But, but is, is this? Yeah, oh, this is the same. Sing. What? What? What can we do? Hmm? Uh, look around. Think over the situation. Hmm? Repetition. Oh, 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 this is different, I think. All my memories of her are the same. I always remember her as a kind, caring sister. Repetition. I, I don't even know my sister's name. My image of her is efe, efeme, ephemeral, vague. I want to remember more, but I can't. Whenever I try, the same thing happens. I wouldn't think about her unless you want to die. A terrifying empty voice echoes in my brain. And to avoid that fear, I started to avoid thinking about her at all. Repetition. 
reaching this far back into my memory, I realized something very important. The teddy bear. It was a gift. Yeah, mm, that's right. I got this bear from my sister. This memory isn't artificial. Uh, okay, think over the situation again. The teddy bear. It was a gift. That's right. Hmm. Okay, try to go outside. difference uh, what so follow Game over. Hmm. What to do? Uh, think over the situation. Try to go outside. Stay in the room. What? What can we do? I think I've tried everything. I don't get it. Return to the hospital. Oh, wait a minute. Did we did we did we see this text before? Funabashi might have noticed me. I thought he glanced in my direction for just a moment. Somehow, heading outside has calmed me down. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, it's different this time. I realize that thinking will not solve anything. I feel sleepy. What? But she's gonna sleep? No. Oh, oh! Okay. Funabashi? Why are you? So, it's you, Funabashi. Die. A gunshot echoes. Ah! Ah! So easy. This was your fault, Kaori. You should have taken care of him in the basement. That just leaves Michael, whom you also failed to kill. It seems we finally managed to identify who assault spies within the lab world. Dr. Hybera, behind you! What? Uh. Ah! Why? How are there so many of them? Wow. No, this can't be happening. Not to me. Damn it all. I had the fifth report. I could have had everything I wanted. Dr. Haibara? No, it's too late. What? Funabashi. There was more than one of him from the very beginning. Funabashi and Michael, there have been several copies of each operating all along. Drones. It's no good. I can't escape. We've lost. 
Dr. Haibaro is dead. The fifth report. What should I do with this? What should I do? As my final act. <laughs>